Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 2.8, Adjust Quotients. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to adjust the quotient if the estimate is too high or too low. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. All right, fifth graders, today's lesson has some lesson notes. You can find these at the top of your lesson pages. Please take notes as we go through it. It says, when you estimate to divide where to place the first digit, you can also try using the first digit of your estimate to find the first digit of your quotient. Sometimes an estimate is too high or too low. So when we estimate, sometimes we get the number that's the first digit of our quotient right away with our estimate, but sometimes it's a little too high or a little too low and we have to adjust. That's what this lesson is going to help us do. In the first example, we're dividing 3,382 by 48. The first thing that we're doing is going to round. So we round 3,382 to 3,000 and 48 to 50. Three 5 goes into 30 6 times, and then we have 1 zero left over. So we know that our estimate's going to be about 60. So we place that 60 over here, and we see if this can get us started. Now, in order to check it, we would need to multiply, and it says, if an estimate is too low, the difference will be greater. So we multiplied 48 times 6, and we got 288. And when you subtract, you can see that I'm left over with 50. And 50 is more than the 48 we started with, so that's no good. It's too low. So we know that it's going to be in the tens place, but we know that we're going to have to bump it up to a seven and continue on. Let's look at example two. We're going to divide 453 into 65. So we rounded first 453 to two, 300, sorry, excuse me, 490, and then we rounded 65 to 70, and look, 7 goes into 49 seven times, and the zeros cancel, so we know that our estimate is going to be about 7, and we also know that it's going to be in the ones place. So if we multiply 65 times 7, we get 455, and 455 is more than 453, so that won't work. My estimate is too high. So in this case, I would need to jump down and go to a six. So estimates are a good place to start, but once we have an estimate, it doesn't mean that we're good to go. It might mean that we need to adjust before we continue our division. Let's continue on with this lesson. Let's unlock the problem. A new music group makes 6,127 copies of the first CD. The group sells 75 copies of the CD at each of its shows. How many shows does it take the group to sell all of the CDs? So the first thing we're going to do is estimate. So instead of 6,127, we're going to round to 6,300. And we're going to round 75 to 70. And if we look at the first two digits, 7 goes into 63 9 times, and then with a 0 left over, we know it's going to be about 90. So now we need to decide if 90 is too high or too low, or exactly what we need. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to estimate. So we're going to try 9 tens or 90. So 9 tens, let's multiply to check, 75 times 9, 9 times 5 is 45, 9 times 7 is 63, plus 4 is 67. So now we get 675, and look, we have 6,127. We're looking at the 612 to go into, and we have 675, so it's too high. So we need to adjust and go a little bit lower. So step two says estimate the next digit that could be in the quotient. So instead of being a nine, let's try an eight. So 75 times eight. Eight times five is 40. Eight times seven is 56 plus four is 
60. So we get 600. So that's perfect. So our first digit is going to be an 8 instead of a 9. And we're going to subtract 600. So 612 minus 600 is 12 left over. Bring down the 7. So now we're going into 127. So it says now we're going to round again. 140 instead of 127, and we're still going to stick with the 70 just to get us a close number. 7 goes into 14 two times, so we're going to try two ones. So now let's multiply to see how close that gets us. So we're multiplying 75 times 2, because that was our estimate. So 2 times 5 is 10. And 2 times 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15. And we were trying to go to 127 and we got to 150. So that's too much. So our estimate is too high. But now we know that it's going to be a 1. So we would adjust our quotient. 75 times 1 is 75. And now we can subtract. 7 minus 5 is 2. 12 minus 7 we can't do so we have to borrow. 12 minus 7 is 5, so we're left over with 52. And 52 is a remainder because it's smaller than our divisor. So we know that's the leftover part. So let's look at our question now. It says it takes the group blank shows to sell all of the CDs. Well, our quotient was 81 with a remainder. But we don't want to know how many it takes them to sell 81, we want to know how many it takes them to sell all of the CDs. So remember back to our last lesson, we need to round up our answer. So it's going to take them 82 shows to sell all of their CDs. Great job so far. Let's continue with the try this section in your book next. It says we're going to use an estimate. So we're going to try six ones. We're going to divide 336 by 48, and we're going to start with the number 6. So first off, let's multiply to see where that gets us. So 48 times 6. 6 times 8 is 48, and 6 times 4 is 24, plus 4 is 28, so we get 288. So 288 is a good place to start. So if we have... 288, let's subtract, can't do 6 minus 8, so we have to borrow, so we are left over with 48 after subtracting. Well, but look, if there's 48 here and there's 48 here, then that means that we could have done one more group bigger. So instead of having a 6 here up at the top, let's see what would happen if we have a 7. So let's multiply 48 times 7. 8 times 7 is 56. 7 times 4 is 28 plus 5 is 36. So we get 336 and that's exactly what we were aiming for. So we tried 7 ones and we did 336 divided by 48. We found we found out that it goes in 7 times, which is 336, we'll subtract, and we get no remainder. So 336 divided by 48 is 7, no remainder. Using the 6 was a good place to get started, but it didn't exactly give us what we need. So we adjusted and continued dividing, which is... Th All right, fifth graders, ready for our lesson activity. Today's lesson activity says estimate the first digit in the problem and then solve. So we're going to need to divide 217 by 24. So we know 24 doesn't go into 2, 24 doesn't go into 21, so it's going to have to go into 217. So our digit is going to be in the 1's place. So if we think... 24 is almost like a quarter, 25. And a quarter goes into a dollar four times, which is 100, and we're going to go into 200, then maybe a good place to start would be 
eight because there's four quarters in one dollar and four quarters in another dollar. So I might start with the number eight. So 24 times eight might give me a place to start. So now that we know that we're in the ones place, go ahead and solve this problem in your math notebook. Great job on your flip lesson, fifth graders.